Welcome to Luta Road. Here I am at the very huge road. I think one of the biggest in the world. It's 20 lane road in front of uh, the National Parliament here in Naypyidaw, Myanmar. And around here, you can see it's full of trees, very beautiful. And recently, Myanmar's government, they just have a cooperation with the Japanese government to plant a lot of uh, sakura trees. They have planted a few hundreds of them already and they continue to plant more. So in the future, there'll be uh, blossom sakura around here. And this place is a place that you should come to experience the hugeness of, of the road. So I might try to cross the road while there are no cars at all. No hurry! Myanmar is a world's famous place for gemstones and here I am at the gem museums in central Naypyidaw. Today we're going to explore both museum and shops inside. My friend said there are almost a hundred shops selling good quality gemstones inside. And uh, the gemstones that they sell include rubies, uh, sapphires, jade, pearls, and many more. I'm interested now. Let's take a look inside. That is a picture of Kachin State in northern Myanmar where they took jade from. And in this room at the lobby of the Gems Museum, I see a lot of furniture made of jade. It's very beautiful. From the walls to chairs like this in the living room. Looks really nice and um, precious. Yes, they are precious stones. And follow me to see this uh, very valuable pieces of furniture. These are tables and chairs for the president and uh, the prime ministers of Myanmar all made of jade. For example, this table is made of one piece of jade. Looks really stunning. We've traveled around 200 kilometers northeast of Naypyidaw and here we are at a beautiful place, Inle Princess Resort in Shan State. Many visitors come to Myanmar for a yoga retreat. Now it's time to blend yourself with the nature by having a gentle morning yoga and meditation sessions, starting from these basic posters. After that, I have an idea of having two therapists work together to put pressure on my body. This is a new experience called four hands massage, borrowed from Swedish and Ayurvedic techniques. Ile Lake is where entire villages are built on stilts, markets drift on clusters of canoes, and Murid tribes maintain their ancient customs and dress. When you are here, it'll definitely be a great experience to sleep on stilt houses. As this says, I feel a mixture of art and nature here around peaceful surroundings.
this market is uh, eastern part of the lake. Oh. So from uh, the Heho he Airport, you can you need to drive is so 45 minutes to get this uh, oh, market. Right. That uh, this market is we have a five day market mm. around the lake called the Mind Out Market. From the lake, you can come with just only five, five minutes by boat to get the market. Oh, there is yeah, also yeah, the yeah. jetty. So oh. this market, you can kind of two way. One is Bengal and one is with Bengal boat. Oh, okay. So most of the people from the Frodin uh, village, they kind of sell many kind of vegetables, flowers, oh. and the fish and meat. So that one, uh, this one is our traditional Indus net. Wow. There is uh, many, ki many kind of snack. Uh -huh. uh, that one is uh, one village, just only one village make uh, this kind of snack cool. from the other side. We can yeah. find only around in Lele. Yeah, around in Lele, this kind of, you, can, you cannot find it in uh, Yangon or Mandalay, just only in okay. Lele here. This is made from the rice powder. Uh -huh. Yeah, and uh, mix with sticky rice and rice powder. So yeah, this is uh, to, uh, tomatoes from the lake. Most of the, the Indian people we grew ar around the lake is uh, on the floating, uh, the floating garden. garden. Yeah, there's uh, also many uh, different kind of vegetables also, but the main uh, is uh, tomato, tomato from the lake. Well, around in Lay Lake, yeah. there are a lot of natural resources. Yeah. Fruits, vegetables, fish, fish yeah. shrimp, everything. everything so, yeah, flower. Yeah. For today's lunch, I have my new friend Mingi who will help me uh, teach how to cook local food. Yeah. All right. What What are we going to cook today? Uh, we need to cook steam spring onion. Steam spring onion. Yes. Wow. Uh, after we made fried spring onion, yeah. after we made chicken noodle soup with chicken, uh, after we need to create a plant salad. Okay. Yeah. Let's do the first one. Yeah. This rice powder, uh, two spoon yeah. of rice powder. This water, put here. Spoon. How much? Uh, three spoon. And one spoon of peanut oil. Mix everything yeah. together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mmm. Cooking fast. <laughs> Put like this. Mm. Two spoon. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Not too bad. The Shan region was historically close to the birthplace of papermaking and produces famous decorative handmade paper. Like the earliest recorded paper, it is made from the bark of the mulberry tree that you can learn to do for yourself and take away your own handmade paper. Besides, you can learn about wood carving and lacquerware from local artisans as it has been well known since the colonial era. Fly to Naypyidaw with Bangkok Airways, Asia's boutique airline. Stay tuned for the next episode. Please subscribe. <laughs>